My name is Anik Magak. I am the author of Clear. I am a coach, a motivational speaker, and a designer. I wanted to talk to you guys today about coaching. And it's 2016. It's January. We're in almost about a week into the new year. People have made different resolutions. They have set goals. And they're trying to figure out, okay, what do I want to accomplish this year? What do I want my year to look like? Am I having goals around health? Am I having goals around fitness? Am I having goals around work, family, relationships? All these different areas. So a lot of people just don't know what coaching is. And some people who are probably on here might also be coaches. So you understand, you know what I'm talking about. But the majority of people don't know what coaching is because it seems like this kind of nebulous, weird thing out there on the internet. Everybody's pushing coaching in different ways. They're pushing, pushing business coaching, they're pushing health coaching. What is it? Well, how can it help you and what can it do to make your life better? As a coach, I work with people in a different way than a lot of other people. I kind of enco encompass a larger area. Most people specialize in certain areas. For instance, you'll often see that business coaches, which tend to be right now, especially with Periscope, kind of like the, the most ty popular type of business, or I'm sorry, the most popular type of coach. So you'll have different people like Kim Garst and all these like great people who are out there putting out these programs. And in essence, they are coaches or considered teachers, but mostly coaches because they are coaching people in a very specific category. So that type of coaching, which unless you pay for VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching, is much more of like a bigger kind of classroom learning type of coaching. And I use the word classroom loosely because really we're all sitting at home watching, uh, looking at Periscope and YouTube videos and, and all this sort of stuff when we are doing a lot, of, a lot of this type of coaching online. So for you in where you are right now, how could coaching help you? Oh, okay, that's pretty, <laughs> I have no doubt if I was also at a, at a pro level, really, unless you're getting performance out of your coach, right, you would be fired. And that'll actually bring up a, a, another topic that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So with coaching, and you're just say, you know, I'm just a normal person, I'm trying to make my life better, I want to make changes because I'm not uh, happy with, mm -hmm, that yes, and there, this is a big... Uh, Joanna is bringing up a really good point. There is, in my mind as well, a huge difference between coaching and teaching. Teaching is essentially what I'm doing right now, and that is that I am telling you guys my views. I am educating in a, in a, in a forum. Periscope happens to be the forum, so I'm actually sitting here giving you my viewpoint and more teaching. Coaching is different than teaching. Oftentimes people get the two confused and a lot of coaches actually teach and don't coach and that is probably a whole periscope we can do a conversation on that because I have some pretty big views on that. The difference is, yeah right Joanna? <laughs> so the big difference is is that coaching is individualized. It is I am working with you, you right there with your problems, with your issues, with your goals and we are going to figure out together based on your problems and your situation, how to make your life better. And that is very different than teaching. So if I'm teaching and I, I come onto Periscope and I'm saying to you guys, okay, I'm gonna teach you guys about, or we're gonna talk about coaching today and what it actually is. It's very different than me actually sitting here and saying, okay, and uh, since Joanna made the, the comment, I'm just gonna use your name, Joanna. So say for instance, oh, actually this is a great example. So Joanna coaches on money. So if I were to have a session with her, I would say, okay, I would say to Joanna, here's my finance issues. How can we create a plan together? And Joanna would coach me based on my financial circumstances. So in my aspect in health, fitness, and mindset, the reason why I work with people a little bit differently, and when you're looking for a coach, you need to be what will help in the search because I, I have had very bad experiences with coaches. There were times where I paid for programs and I they ended up being programs. I thought I was getting coaching, but actually it wasn't, I wasn't getting coaching. I was getting teaching and programs, which is different than coaching. So when you go into coaching and trying to choose who you want as a coach, 
there are some things that you should very much look for and decide on. Number one is what is your top priority? What do you want to get out of this relationship with this person? Now, this could be a lot of times people will come into me the, the gateway is through health coaching. That's a pretty easy thing to ask for help on. A lot of people will say, okay, I, you know, I know I have IBS, which irritable bowel syndrome, and I want to make changes in my life to fix that. So what can I do? Or I have adrenal fatigue. How can I uh, get support in that? I have an autoimmune disease. How can I get support in that? Health coaching is a very easy way to approach and work with a coach. Now, Coaching around business is also a great area as well, where you you have your business, you want to grow it, and you don't quite know how. You're doing the same things over and over again, so you want to choose a business coach to support you in that, or finance, or all these different areas. Okay, so people work in different ways, but you want to make sure that you, when you go into coaching, you're not picking somebody based on just that you like them as a person versus are they really good and are they gonna get you where you wanna be? Because there's a difference there with that and we can get confused on this online persona and say, oh, you know, this person looks really cool. They, I like the way they interact. I like the way that they, they show themselves on social media. Is that the person for me to work with? I highly recommend that in one, you've made the decision in what area you wanna work work in. The second thing is to interview your coach. Oftentimes they will say to you, oh, you know, I, I'll offer this uh, open, you can do a 30 minute session with me and I'll, I'll open this to you and you will we'll get a talk and we'll talk and we'll see if we're a good fit or not. As much as they are interviewing you, you really, you're paying the money, so you should really be interviewing the coach. You should be seeing, asking them questions, not only just to get information of, you know, I'm not saying to ask some questions to get a free session to figure out your problem. And I use the term problem loosely. But you want to interview them to say, you know, are you qualified to do this? Do you, are you going to be there to support me? What are your viewpoints about this or that? And when you get to know your coach in that manner, you can make a, an educated decision whether or not this person actually is the right person for you. A lot of people will just skip over that and they'll just get into the coaching and Yes, that's true, Joanna. So Joanna wrote that if someone's problem can be solved in 30 minutes, then they don't really need a coach. No, they don't. I mean, that is really, they're just asking for advice. When you get into coaching, it's going beyond advice. It's really working with somebody and establishing a relationship where you can grow together and you can be open to honest feedback. A real coach is not your friend and they are not your, again, they are not your friend. And I will often say that when I get into a coaching relationship, people, and I say to them, okay, you know, we're making this commitment. You are making this commitment to me in, in the coach standpoint. And I need to tell you up front is that I am not your friend. And I say this because, especially when I work with females versus working with men, they, they tend to get that concept right away. But a female, we want to, um, we want to build closer relationships and we want to be friendly and we want to that's the way that we can show love and affection is more by creating relationship and I do I have warm relationships with my clients but the difference is is that when I say that I'm not your friend it's that I need to be there to give you the tough love a coach is there to tell you when you are not being true to yourself when you're lying to yourself and sometimes to say hey you know what everybody else is saying okay because they're afraid to give you this feedback but this is actually what you need to hear and you can take it or you can leave it but as your coach you're paying me to give you the feedback that you need to hear so that is where it comes in and saying that a coach is not your friend a coach is there to literally coach you to be your support and to help you find ways to become more successful in the area that you want information and support in so with this I you know we I don't know how many people are, are watching me right now but you have the opportunity here to ask any questions or make uh, let me know if you want me to ex expand on anything because again I know that looking for coaching can be a tricky I love a tough love coach you're saying that you're saying oh yeah as a tough love coach you're saying this oh, okay <laughs> It's important and it's it's important to establish up front what your coaching is going to be like. And again, 
I have gone through bad coaching in my life and I don't want anybody to have to experience that. When you have paid money out and had expectations and those expectations are not met, it's like a double slap in the face. Like not only are your expectations not met, but you just also feel like you just wasted all this money. And thirdly, you feel like you just wasted all this time. Also, speaking on time, how long should coaching be? This is an individual thing. A lot of coaches will set a certain timeline. They will have, they will say, you know, I, you do one month with me or I've got a six month or we do a 12 week package. Work with your coach on this. And if you feel like a certain package is set, I think everybody who owns a business will say this, that you're, there's always a gray area. If I present and say, you know, I, I do a six month package, which I do for the most part, I do a six month package because I really do think that it takes six months at least for people to really get going. You can get started and go quick in a month. What ends up typically happening on the coaching level is we've got this big upgrade, things are going really well, and then it drops down because some kind of life event happens. And sometimes if you stop the coaching up here, and then the next month something down here happens, you don't have that support. So a six month cycle of coaching, in my view, is the most optimum because it allows you life-wise together with you and the coach to experience six months worth of highs and lows and see how does that coaching help and surround you about that now i'm not opposed to shorter coaching and some people will say well you know it's a money thing well the timeline and the money thing do go together and people have a hard time committing we have a hard time committing in our relationships we have a hard time committing to goals in our lives we think we want to do things and how often do we start them and then we stop them this is imperative at this point of the year January, big time for everybody to make these health and fitness goals. And it's almost the end of the first week. And so I ask you, how many of you have actually continued with the goal that you set on January 1st? Are you still working towards that? Or did something this week already derail you? So with coaching, it's the same thing. A month is, is great. You can get a lot accomplished in a month. And sometimes that's all that somebody really needs. But to really see the longevity and to really see sustained growth, which is different than just like a spurt of growth, we want to see sustained growth, right? That you can take whatever coaching that you're getting and get it in and be able to carry it beyond the coaching. For me, when I'm working with somebody, the other reason why I want to do six months, and a lot of times these people end up being a year, I don't necessarily ever want to coach anybody beyond a year. And the reason I say this is that me as a coach, and somebody had said this earlier, like if you, if, you don't, uh, if you don't create a winner, then you're fired, basically was with, you know, with these top coaches, say in, in pro sports. From a personal standpoint in coaching, I don't feel like I've really done my job if you can't lead the flock, right? I don't want codependence. And this is something to look for also in coaches because a lot of times coaches, coaches will sell them, they'll sell themselves and they will want their flock you start to feel ineffective. Yeah, yes, 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 exactly, Joanna. And you, Joanna's saying that you, you start to feel ineffective as a coach if your flock continues to stay with you. And at that point, I also think, you know, like I'll watch online groups and I see how people will just kind of uh, flock around a coach and want to stay with them for years and years and years and years. And I think to myself, like, are you, why is that? Is it just that you want the, you want the persona and you want that, the rub off of the glory? Of, of that person that they have become, that really goes back to you effectively as a coach. Like, why do you follow certain people and why do you want to stay around them? So again, for me coaching at a certain point, bye. It's time to say, okay, is a coach a crutch or a paid friend? Exactly. And this is again where the, you're right with the paid friend thing is that I am not your friend as a coach. I want to see you succeed. And as much as you get enjoyment and the success out of that I also want to get the enjoyment and success of seeing you succeed because that is the, that's the ultimate payback yes you know getting paid for coaching is awesome but the second thing is when I see a client soar I can't even tell you how good that feels I mean to me that's just like I, I, I sit there in disbelief and I'm like man that is so awesome I'm so happy for this person that this happened for them so I know that um, some people are going to be shy and not want to ask questions on this forum. So I, I want to give you guys two offers. And the first offer is that I want you to be able to experience one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one coaching and I want you to see what it's like. So 
I would like to offer to anyone who watches this in the live broadcast or the replay, if you would like a 30 minute free session with me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, then please reach out to me. And my email address is coaching at aniquemagoc.com. Again, it's coaching at aniquemagoc.com. I probably did not tell you guys what type of coaching I do. And my coaching varies a little bit. And a lot of it is around my book, which I think, let me see if I have a, have a copy here, which is clear how to simplify your mind. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? As, you're, as, the, as the author, I can even forget the title of my own book. Uh, clear how to simplify your life and live more fearlessly. And my coaching is the type of coaching that I do with people is a little bit more broad but specific. So I work with people on their health, their fitness, and their mindset in connection to their environment. And the reason that I do this is that your environment is a reflection of your inner life. And that is my forte, is creating environments that sustain and support people in their everyday life. So it's a little bit of a different way of looking at things, but if you just want to experience regular coaching and you want to just reach out to me and talk to me 30 minutes about some health or mindset issues, I would love to support you in that way. And just so you can get a taste with it. Um, I have no expectations here. I just want to be able to share with you guys because everybody's been really generous on Periscope with me and sharing knowledge and connecting. So I want to be able to give that back to you guys. So that's all I got for you for today. We can continue this coaching conversation offline if you'd like, or through social media, which you can find me on all social media at Anik Magak, A-N-N-I-C-K-M-A-G-A-C. And if you'd like to reach out to me and do a little one-on-one, 30-minute -on -one, session of coaching, let's do it. It'd be awesome to connect. You watched this video for a certain reason, so let's connect, okay? Coaching at AnikMagak.com, okay? Ciao.